our home for the Derby, which is here at the Expo, and it's only 30 bucks a night. That's as cheap as you're gonna get. If you would have told me five years ago that my Derby accommodations would be a parking lot, I would have laughed. But here we are in our Hotel on Wheels, walking distance from the track. We've always talked about going to the Kentucky Derby, not because we're into the sport, because we're not. We wanted to see the spectacle that is the event. Welcome to the Kentucky Derby. Oh, and what a spectacle it is. This is the oldest continuously held sporting event in America and one of the most prestigious horse races in the world. And it seems everyone shows up for this shindig. Rich preppy kids? Check. Bros picking up chicks? Check. The I'll take any excuse to wear a costume lady? And dude? Check. Check. Socialites? Well, that's a given, isn't it? All this visual stimulation, and we haven't even made our way to the infield. Crossing through the tunnels like entering a whole other world. This is like the State Fair meets Coachella. It's not a stretch to say the people here are just as impressive as the horses. The Derby may be called the greatest two minutes in sports, but it's got to be the greatest people watching in America. If you haven't noticed yet, this is where the party's at. <laughs> the old saying, you get what you pay for, really holds its value here. The difference from the cheap seats at the infield to the multi-level grandstands are like night and day. Food selections are greatly different. Lines for drinks, wagering, bathrooms, and especially the view of the track. As for seating, well down here, it's slim to none, or you gotta bring your own. And over here, it's take your pick. Sadly, the price difference from down here to up there is even more dramatic than the typical derby hat. And then there's the races. You know, the two minutes an hour most people show up to this event for. And what a to-do it is. The regal horses are escorted through the crowds, pranced by the rails before being loaded into the gates like a bullet is loaded into a gun. <laughs> seconds of intense pounding and cheering, followed by more prancing and awards. It all seems like pomp and circumstance. And then, just like that, it's over. There's something about this grand event feels like a piece of Americana, almost like a rite of passage for any American traveler. I can't say the Derby's something we need to do again, but I am glad we experienced it. <laughs>